Welcome to Chewing the Cud. Here we are finishing off 2020 with your weekly roundup of showbiz news, chuckles from the internet, and of course our life lesson. We'll also bring you a few funny moments from the last year that you may not have already seen. Now we take a moment to pay homage to the man who never eats after midnight and never gets moist for fear of turning into a gremlin. It's Lee. I do both of those things. You eat after midnight and you get moist? Mm, at the same time. At the same time. Yeah, and <laughs> not once have I turned into a gremlin. Now, turn into a gremlin, because I'm already a gremlin. But you know, That's anyway, um, I'm back with some hot showbiz news, including some, some news about 007. Dun, 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 dun. That was the theme tune. <laughs> that was 007, was it? Okay. Yeah. And I've scoured the internet to find some bits you may have given a side eye to, including a story about something new in a toaster. If you want to drop us a New Year message or slide into our DMs with a pic, you can always find us by searching for The Could TV on your social media sites. Our website is thecud.tv. And if you want to listen to us as a podcast, just search for Chewing the Could. And if you look below, you will see some of our top fans and celebra pals who have commented, shared or clicked like on one of our social media platforms. Let's end the year with a bang, shall we, Mike? I've told you about social distancing rules. No, I mean when we play... Game of the Week. In the new year, the producer is hoping to enter the Guinness Book of World Records for the most cocktails made in a minute. He reckons he can knock one out every 10 seconds, or 12 if he has to strain. So to aid him in his efforts, he has asked us to identify which of the following is a real cocktail and which is not. Oh. So do you remember this game? I do. Yes, because you do really well at this one, Neil. Yeah, I did, yeah. Got quite aggressive, didn't you I? Did, yeah, yeah, you did very aggressive, like did, you've been yeah. drinking them. Yeah. Shall we get the first one up? Let's pop it up. The first one is Bambi's Downfall. Oh. That doesn't sound like a cocktail. Doesn't. It sounds like the end of a movie, doesn't it? Mmm. Yeah. Because yeah. doesn't his mum die in the movie? Spoilers. I don't think it's Bambi, I think. It's, <laughs> it's been out for a little while. Like, <laughs> anybody who hasn't seen it in the past 50 years, spoilers, she dies. Um, I, um, I think... Is Baby Sham? Can you still get a Baby Sham? You can still get Baby Sham. Can you? Yeah, I do enjoy a Baby Sham. It's nice, isn't it? It's lovely, it's sweet. It's that's nice. just the Amante. No, no, that's different. Is that not it? No, Baby Sham is fizzy pear. Fizzy pear? I've yes. got a fizzy pear. Oh, I've heard. <laughs> <laughs> get cream for that. <laughs> um, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to go with... I'm going to go. I'm going to go out on a limb. I'm going to say I think it might be. I think it is as well. You know. Mm. Yeah. Let's see. Shall we see if Bambi's yeah. downfall is a cocktail? Oh. Oh, it's a fake. Oh, well, that bodes well, doesn't it? <laughs> well, it should be. And well, then you should invent one then. What? Baby Sham and absent. Baby Sham and Rahipnol. <laughs> Once again, no. <laughs> that drink, that, 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 the icebreaker on a first date. <laughs> We've had conversations in the past we about have, you drugging people, and it's not allowed. No, okay. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, let, let's have another one then. Let's Quickly. See. Fearless redneck. I think I've been on a date with a fearless redneck. Have you? Yeah. Cotton Eye Joe? <laughs> yes, it was. Cotton Eye Joe. For those people that listen to pop music in the late 90s, Cotton Eye Joe. <laughs> Weird Swedish techno country <laughs> pop. Um... <laughs> Uh, 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 yeah, red is does is like whiskey redneck. So whis bourbon, which mm -hmm. is American whiskey. Yeah, yeah. Then that you can drink that. It tends to be moonshine for rednecks, which is homebrew. Okay, um, I'm gonna go yes. It is. You're gonna go yes. But is. I don't know what's in it. <laughs> I'm just gonna go yes. I I don't think it is. You don't think it is? No. Okay. Let's see. Oh, it's just true. Oh, and it has got two lots of bourbon in there. So, Jim Bean Black, label bourbon. What does that say? So be no fear energy. So be no fear energy. What is that? Drink. So if you... Jim Bean Black, label bourbon. Okay. <laughs> That's not two different ingredients. <laughs> so be no fear energy. It's then oh. not an instruction to drink it. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm so pretty. Um... <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh dear. dear. Okay, one, one so, to you. 
No, no, one, no to one, one to you. You're giving yeah. away points now. Are you feeling? I'm drunk. Yeah, exactly. well, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Took that word drink as an instruction, <laughs> didn't you? Shall we pull the next one up? Yes. Let's ask the bartender. <laughs> Sand in the crack. Sand in the crack. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I was singing along to Sending the Clowns. <laughs> but it sounded like you said Sending the Crack. Sand in the Crack. Yes. <laughs> sand not in sand. the Crack. Send. Don't worry, <laughs> it's here. Um, <laughs> I, um, yeah, I that is a know. cocktail. Is it? Yeah, it's got to be a cocktail because the set's on the beach. Is it like a, lo like a low grade version of Sex on the Beach? No, I think it'd be you have a Sex on the Beach and then you have Sand in the Crack. After you've fallen over. On the beach. No, I'm thinking sex on the beach. It's sand. Oh, okay. I'm going to say no, I don't think it is. You're thinking about going down the pebble beach, weren't you? <laughs> it's not going to work. <laughs> <laughs> Rocks in your ass. I don't think so. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, what did you just say? Rocks in your ass. Rocks in, okay. Misheard you there. <laughs> oh, smutty mind. I'm going to go with I don't think it is. Okay, shall we pull it up and see? Let's see. It is. Oh. Well, that sounds quite nice, actually. Malibu coconut rum, Captain Morgan rum, pineapple juice and cranberry juice. That would be very sweet, wouldn't it? I, I think it would be quite sweet, yeah, but Sex on the Beach is quite quite sickly, creamy. And... Oh, you know what to say about pineapple juice? Yeah, it's true. Is it true? Yeah, yeah. Genuinely makes your Genuinely doings... True. And blue Haribo. Blue packet Star Mix Haribo. Oh, Not the okay. veggie ones. Not shoved up your pee hole. You're not supposed to shove it up your Oh, no, that's where you're going wrong. Works. <laughs> <laughs> Misshapen. Let's, let's, have a, let's have another one. <laughs> Hop, skip and go naked. That's not a preposition. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> <It's>, um, <laughs> um, Hop, skip and go naked. Hop, skip and go naked. I, I, that feels like a boozy drink. It feels like um, a very eight, Club 1830... Um, pub crawl. Have you ever been on a club? No. <laughs> I didn't think you had. Good grief, no. <laughs> Is that um, because they came out by the time you were 58? <laughs> I go... <laughs> it's the saga holidays I enjoy. <laughs> um, <laughs> I've heard. <laughs> <laughs> um, Horlicks before nine and then you're out. And lo um, <laughs> lots, of, lots of the noise of... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like iron... Scraping. Um, I'm, I think... I'm going to go with yes because I said no to the other one. But I don't really know one way or the other. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I said yes. Let's have a... Oh, look at it right. Yeah. Just by yeah. default. It does sound very 1830s then. Lemon vodka, grapefruit juice, syrup. And beer. Beer. Uh, in like a, in a, in a goldfish bowl. Yeah, it looks in with a pint like glass eighteen that one. straws, <laughs> eighteen straws, yeah. lots of ice and a couple of umbrellas, and and a bit of like dry ice coming out of the top because it's it looks clatty. <laughs> um, I like a dry ice shot. Do you? Yeah, because there's a risk of death. You're not really supposed to. You're not supposed to drink whatever that makes the carbon dioxide. No, you know, no, it's not good. It's no, not you good can for suffocate your as well. So if you sit there and sort of like just like, like that, you can pass out. Oh. Basically, suffocate while getting drunk. Oh. Don't do that. Don't people. do that at home. It's dangerous. Kids. It's not good. No. Um, pop up another one. I'm gonna pop up another one. Pop up another one. Is it my turn or your turn? Who cares? Um, fuzzy navel. I've heard of that. I, I have had a fuzzy navel. Yeah. And why is it always black or brown? It's never white. Mine's always like blue. Blue. Yeah. yeah. I don't know why. Even when I'm wearing a white shirt. It's black. It's like black, yeah. You can wash, you know, when you're in the shower. I do. Okay. Yeah. Um, I think it is, again, I think it's another, like, 1830-esque beverage. Beverage. Yeah. <laughs> beverage. Beverage. I'm so drunk. How much drunk. have you had already? <laughs> <laughs> and I think they would pour it into the belly buttons of, you know, the Sharons and the Kevs. I think it's a, I think it's a shot. I think, yeah. Yeah, just, they would... no, just a little, a little oh, shot. Not a, like, do it on somebody's little... stomach. No, a little layered shot. It's just... Okay, it's let's, one of them. So, let's see. Should we see? It is, it's it is. true. Yeah. Peach schnapps and it's... orange juice. juice. They, these have all been very sweet yeah. this week. 
don't drink if you're a diabetic. Because <laughs> that's very sweet. <laughs> I think I'm slipping into a diabetic coma. Um, <laughs> so I, 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 let's just have a check on, on scores, because I don't know. Three all is the final oh, score. The final score? Yeah. That's okay. it done. So we, we end the year on a tie. Oh, let's go get pissed. <laughs> Still to come, we are bringing you the next of our wonderful life lessons. And just after the break, it's Lee with the showbiz. But before that, let's look back at a moment from the last year. They are then you go, boy. Hey. Somebody slipped something in my water. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. Now we speak to the man who was once mistaken for one of the Jedward brothers. But I'm not telling you which one. It's Lee with the showbiz news. Was it Jed? Or was it Ward? <laughs> Ward? <laughs> Jed or Ward? Jed Ward. Edward. <laughs> Jed Edward. What are the, well, I get Edward. But what's the first one? What's the Jeff for? Jonathan? Jed? Jed? It's not, though. J Jason? It's not Jay and Edward. No, he has a fuller name, doesn't he? Gerald? Jocasta? Jocasta, that's it. Jocasta and Edward. Edward. <laughs> yeah. Let's do a bit of showbiz news. Well, I ponder on what his name is. Um, so, a couple of episodes ago, we spoke about um, Ed Sheeran mm. doing a bit of painting. Painting? A bit of painting on a board and selling it. <laughs> um, and so it made, got me thinking about other celebrities that do a bit of painting. Um, and I've got a... <laughs> <laughs> no, that's for the like two-handed painting. You've never watched Bob Ross, have you? No. <laughs> Going to paint a little tree. Like, Going to paint a little, a little happy cloud. Happy cloud. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry if it goes wrong. It's paint it out again. Um, oh. um, so, Darren Brown, mystical Ooh. Darren Brown. There's a lot <laughs> of hand actions going on today. today. Mystical. Mystical. Um, yeah, Darren Brown. <laughs> um, not only does he mess with your mind mm. and make you think that there's things happening that aren't happening, he also likes to do a bit of painting. Okay. Yeah, so we've got, we've got a picture of Darren Brown here painting a picture of himself. All right. So, oh. yeah, I, I, I'm a bit of a Darren Brown fan. In a, in a sexy time kind of way. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Do you, do you not, uh, do you not it, get a tickle this, in your pickle there? I don't get a tickle in my pickle. Oh, um, okay. But as he purposely sent out those messages that certain, like, if you're one in five people, you'll find me attractive. Ooh. Because he messes with people's minds. Oh. Uh, no, just generally fine. Oh, okay. Um, so, yeah, he, he paints, and you can buy his paintings. This is a picture of Darren Brown's version of Freddie Mercury. Now, that is relatively okay, Ooh, isn't it? That's all right. Yeah, you, can, you get, you get the, the likeness. Get, you, get a, you get a definite Freddie Mercury vibe. Yeah. And then it goes a bit kind of wrong. Okay. As, yeah. So, uh, we'll, we'll put the next picture up, and you... you See if you know who this is. That's Prince. Yeah. It's a caricature. Though, yeah, it? but it looked it either looks like a spitting image puppet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or that gremlin out of Gremlins <laughs> that has the cross eyes. <laughs> yeah. Now he gets a lot of flack on social media for his portraits. What Prince? He, not a print. No, oh, right. print. not a print. Um, <laughs> yeah, Darren Brown. People, people. Yeah, he, so yeah, he, he, people go like say, what? What is this? Stick to your magic. Um, but I, I, quite, I quite like, we've got, we've got, a, we've got another one of his, his, his pictures here. Um, now, that's not a photograph. That's Madonna. That is actually Madonna. Yeah. Um, it's very, you know, would, would, if he painted in that style and presented you with a picture of yourself like that, would you be happy? If someone was going to paint a picture of me and make me a caricature, mm -hmm. it's already been done. Oh, has it? Yeah, it, I don't approve. You don't caricatures, approve? No. No. Because okay. they focus on one thing and make it huge. And it's never the thing you want. Okay. Yeah, but we've, got, we've opened a door that we don't yeah, want to go yeah. down. I always wanted that slightly bigger ears. Okay. So um, you can actually go onto his website and buy his pictures okay. and have them put in your house and stuff like that. They're very, very expensive, very, okay. very expensive. Um, but then I kind of was like, thinking, who, who else does paintings? Who else dabbles in artistry? And um, Macaulay Culkin, uh -huh. famed actor and former child. Um, Macaulay Culkin. <laughs> 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 My Macaulay Culkin impression. 
Oh, I thought you were doing steps. No, that's that. Okay. It's so, very close. Very close, yeah. We've got a pitch of Macaulay. Now, I love Macaulay Culkin. No, no, mm -hmm. um, because he's barking. He's absolutely He's He's funny. as mad as a box of frogs. Here he is with his girlfriend and his cat in a pram. Yeah. Um, just because that's what happens. <laughs> take your cat out for a walk in the pram. Hello. Um, but Macaulay, he has been doing artwork for a number of years. Mm. He calls it 3MB. That's it, the kind of collective. Um, and he's been doing things for years and it's all inspired by 90s pop culture. Okay. With a dark and pay a dark a pain and he said dark and painful. Oh, what's going on? A dark and playful twist. Dark and playful twist. So we've got two pictures of his art. This is one of the first ones. So this is called Fingers. Right. Um, and it's quite clearly it's got fingers. Uh huh. Um, and I think I'm seeing a bit of a Michael Jackson reference there by the by the white by glove. The glove. I'm instantly thinking of his. I'm going to say. Smash hit movie, Party Monster. Okay. Was there severed fingers in that? Well, they had a horror party and they did chop up a body. Oh, could it click with that rather than being fingered by Michael Jackson? Possibly. Okay. Um, so we have another pic another one of his pictures, um, which, yeah, well, there's a lot to unpick in this one. Um, I'm, I'm getting He-Man. Yeah. I'm getting Battle Cat. Uh-huh. Um, I'm getting Ant and Deck with no clothes on. Well, I was getting Naked Attraction. Were you getting Naked Attraction? I have a feeling, because it's that, it, that it's that quiz where you um, guess the word, the sentence, the American one. What's that one called? Wheel of Fortune. Something like that. Um, and I think it's supposed to be the cast of Seinfeld. Okay. Um, but naked. It's, it's... He-Man wasn't in Seinfeld, though. No, but it's kind of a... <laughs> It's an amalgamation, isn't it? Okay. He's kind of taken a little bit of this and a little bit of that and put it on a canvas. of art. Like fusion art. Yeah. Would you, yeah. Would you have that on your no. wall? No. Um, right, no. Okay. <laughs> well, yeah, so he does a bit of art. Um, and then we've got Miley Cyrus. Not only does she sing and stick her tongue out at the same time, but she does a bit of art. Which is the art? Which is Miley? Um, the the god-awful, god overly colourful... Very kitsch thing. Is yeah, that yeah. Her her is called. She calls it Southern Outsider Art. Okay. And it's called Dirty Hippie. Okay. What um, she called the artwork though. Dirty Hippie. All oh, right. Okay. So she wasn't referring to herself. No. Okay. No. Oh, who, who knows? So we had that one, and then we've got this one, this mask that she made, um, which is made up of tiny, tiny teddy bears and um. stuff. That's different. That reminds me of a RuPaul Drag Race outfit. Yes, it could. Yeah, quite possibly. Um, yeah, I think the the sort of saying less is more is not in no. Miley's repertoire. No, we know it's not. No, it's kind of like oh, you, you, you no, I just want to put fifty seven thousand more things on it, please. Yeah. Um, I I don't know if people buy these. Or she just chucks them in the bin um, at the end of, of the thing. I don't know. So there, celebrity art, everybody. Ooh, if you, if you, if you could have any picture by any celebrity, who would you choose? I would have a picture from. Ooh, I would have to say Jason Momoa. Okay. And a photograph. Okay, just a, a photo of, of Jason Momoa. Yes, in the nip. In the nip. What if he like painted a picture with his cock? Where? Well, I mean, I know you'd like it on your face, but That's if you... That's not quite where I was thinking, but okay, that'll, that'll work. <laughs> on, a, on a canvas. <laughs> on a know, canvas. Like, dip, dip the tip in and... Only if I can watch the art being made. Oh, okay. I like to get involved in the artistic process, shall we say. Okay. So, 007 news. Yeah. So, sadly, this year we lost Sean Connery. Mm. He died. Sean Connery, 007. Is that, is that good? That was, that was uh, okay. It was okay. Um, but there's been, this, this is like amazing news, this. Mm. So the current, well, the, the, the new James Bond film that's been filmed that is waiting to come out. So it was supposed to have come out earlier in the year, mm -hmm. but then they put it on hold because of Corona. Um, it's called No Time to Die. Mm -hmm. um, it's the last film that Daniel Craig is going to be playing 007 mm -hmm. in. Okay, and that's coming out next year. I think it's April it's coming out yeah. next year. But... 
they've confirmed, so 007 producers have confirmed that there's a character in this new film, um, No Time to Die. Um, she's an actress called Las Lashana Lynch. Uh -huh. And she is going to be playing 007. So she's going to become 007. Brilliant. So she's a woman. Yeah. She's black. Mm -hmm. And her character is a lesbian. Brilliant. So that is like fantastic About news. Time. Um, but you can imagine. <laughs> oh, no. Certain people are not happy with this. No. Because, you know, James Bond has to be white, he has to be a man, and he has to bone lots of women. We've got a picture of her with James Bond, as in Daniel Craig. OK. So she is the one in the white jacket. OK, cool. Um, and that is, that is a scene. So she plays a character called Nomi, or Nomi. I'm not sure. Nomi. Nomi, do you think? Nomi. No, 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 no. Not that. No. Um, so, yeah. Um, but she's been getting a lot of flack online from people like saying, oh, you shouldn't be... Uh, uh, how dare you play uh, a fictional character yeah, on a movie? Yeah, uh. and what she's saying is she's just got to remind myself that the conversation is happening and that I'm part of something that will be very, very revolutionary. Yeah. Got a picture over here as the character. I think that's, you know, I can hear heads going... But who cares? I might actually watch this one. Um, that is the end of this week's Showbiz News. Well, thank you for that, Lee. Coming soon, we have one of our life lessons. But stick around as we look at something you may not have seen before. And then it's Mike with the buzz. Thank you, Lee. Coming up, we've still got one of our... <sighs> Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. Now it's time to join the man who's had so many builders in his back package. Package. Ooh! Say that again. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, titty you not. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. Now it's time to talk to the person who thought that nine to five was seven of nine's younger sister. It's Mike with the buzz. That a Doctor Who reference? No, Star Trek. Okay. You, you've got Seven of Nine before uh, as well. Yeah, because it's, it's not important, you see. It just goes bloop out the other side. <laughs> it goes bloop out the other yeah. side. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, I have been footering around on the internet this week. Well, you've been what? Footering. Footering? Footering. Having a little bit of a look. Okay. Yes. Um, to find some fun stories for you all. And um, the first one isn't exactly fun. Oh. Um, it's Schadenfreude, which is German for taking delight in someone else's misery. Oh, hello, that's me. Yes, I thought it was. <laughs> yes. Um, and this is a story of a lady who had a Tinder date. OK. OK. Um, she agreed to move 9,000 miles and then was dumped two le weeks later. Who could have seen that coming? <laughs> um, so this is a, a lady called Stephanie Gorton, mm -hmm. um, who lived in Australia. Oh, Australia. Australia. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, North. It's <laughs> nice, it's different, it's unusual. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And was dating this gentleman um, from Scotland, Perth, okay. in Scotland. Okay. Okay. Um, for two years on Tinder. Oh. And they'd met up in, in real life and gone travelling oh. together and oh, stuff okay. like that. And she sold everything up in Australia, oh. packed her bags, okay. got to the airport, got a text message, not happening. Ooh. Um, he had stopped talking to her as much and she'd noticed the relationship getting a bit more strained. Um, but he'd been travelling with another woman. Oh, OK. And just didn't have the heart to tell her not to move. Well, to be fair, I do. there is a, a tiny, tiny piece of my cold, dead heart uh -huh. that is feeling a little bit sad for her. Because it's not like it was like she met him on a Monday and she moved in with him on a Saturday. <laughs> which is what you first thought. Which is, yeah, yeah, which is yeah. usually what happens. Yeah. Um, there would obviously have been a period of time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so it's a little bit sad. So did she go and burn his house down? Um, no, because she was in Australia. Oh, I would, she... I would have gone on that flight, <laughs> gone across, burn his house down, and then come back. Then come back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she had to go begging back for her old job back. Oh. Yeah, so she had to go back to her boss and say, really sorry, can I have my old job back? Oh, uh, do you think, like, ten minutes later mind. she was back on Tinder? <laughs> <laughs> Swiping. <laughs> Ooh, who's next? She is now happily in, in a relationship. Oh, OK, that's which good. Which is good news. With somebody in her own country? Yes. Someone not that far away from oh, her. Oh, congratulations. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Which is nice. Mm. Yeah. Um, now, how are you with insects? 
Pardon? How are you with insects? Insects. Yes, not um, incest. Insects. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't say no to either. Um, <laughs> Um, I'm not. I'm not keen on insects. You're not keen on insects. No. How do you feel specifically about moths? Um, winged devils. Winged devils. Yes. Okay. Flapping at your face. Well, <laughs> who's flapping in your face? Was that? <laughs> um, well, here, I think you might like this one. Okay. Okay. And this is the rosy marble oh. moth. How? Oh, that's Sorry. cute. The rosy maple moth. Ah, oh, the dry camper rubicunda. There we go. That's that's a good drag queen. Name, that. <laughs> it's a good name. Ah, <laughs> <isn't it? laughs> um, oh, that's cute. Is it a real thing? It's a real, real moth. Oh, can I have one? You can have one. You just have to find one. Oh, are they like unicorns? <laughs> You're really dangerous. Really oh, dang where? Which country? Um, I don't know. Oh. Half a story. <laughs> don't, become, don't be tempting me with the cuteness and then go, I don't know where it comes from. But you don't like insects. Yeah, but that's cute. That's cute. Yeah. It's still flapping your face. Yeah, but then it's cute. It's cute. Yeah. Um, well, someone else on Twitter thought it didn't look quite cute. Oh. Um, they thought it should be singing super bass. It looks a bit like Nicki Minaj. I don't get that. So, do you, Nicki Minaj? Yeah, I know who Nicki Minaj is, and but she... I don't think the moth looks like Nicki Minaj. Do you not? With no. the, the bright yellow and the pink and the, where she was wearing that. It's not got a massive pair of tits and a huge arse. <laughs> Good luck editing that one. <laughs> Just mute it and leave it in. <laughs> um, oh, we're getting, a, we're getting a message. It's from North America. It's from North America. Yes. Oh. oh, so you have to get yourself over to North America to try to Yeah, it, it is cute. It does look like Nicki Minaj, though. I don't think it looks like Nicki Minaj. Do you not? No. I just think it looks like a cute thing. It's just a cute pink thing. A cute pink thing with a little little wig on. Why do I have a feeling that if you had one, it would be covered in glitter very quickly? Yeah, then it would die. Yeah, it's suffocated <laughs> with glitter going. Yeah, they I just well, they just turn to dust, don't they? You can't hold them because they're, they're made of dust. <laughs> made of dust. The wings <laughs> are made. But yeah, so if you, if you ever like got hold of a butterfly uh -huh. and rubbed its wings, it just turns to dust. <laughs> yeah, if you ever crush the wings of a butterfly with your fingers. And then just left the body to carry on. <laughs> I haven't done that. <laughs> you quite clearly have. <laughs> I want to move on. Good luck now, you've got no wings. Um, <laughs> You're back to being a caterpillar, congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right, I'm um, going to move on a little bit. Yeah. Um, Ikea. Oh, we like it a bit of Ikea. We like it, Ikea. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, a new a new craze has come about about how to name new Ikea things. Okay. Okay. And that's to spell your name backwards and mm. put an umlaut, the little dotty things, Yong. over the first vowel. Okay. Okay. So, have you ever thought about doing that for you? No. No? Okay. <laughs> Do you want to do it now? Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, let's do it. That okay. sounds fun. Yeah. So, mic backwards. Oh, do I have to, you're not just going to put it up on the screen? No, no. <laughs> you spell your own name backwards. Oh, no. <laughs> so, what's mic backwards? So, mic backwards is mic. <laughs> no, it's, um, <laughs> so it's um, E K I M. Or, and what does that say? Ekim. Ekim. Ekim, which I think is like a, a draw liner. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'd get a pack of five Ekims for your drawers. Okay. For your smalls. Right. Yeah. Okay. What about Lee backwards? G H E E L A. Glee. Gil. 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 Yeah, that so would be something a... fabulous. <laughs> like what? what? What would you want a Gil to be? Um. <sighs> <laughs> we get a toilet brush out in our here. <laughs> um, I would go probably. <laughs> They're saying offensive things. <laughs> they are ideas. saying very offensive things like in our ears right now. Um, I would, I would say one of those. Ooh, one of those, um, one of those giant um, Death Star lights that you pull the chain in, it goes. And it opens up yeah. the lampshades. Yeah, but okay. in glitter. In glitter. Yeah. Okay. Lovely. And if something makes you groan, as in dad jokes, not like that, or something gives you the titters, and I said titters. Why not tag or mention us? Just use the Could TV on all your social media platforms. And we'll look forward to seeing what pops up. And that moves us on to the story of the week. 
Ooh. Okay. And that's a story about a woman finding a hidden compartment in her toaster. <gasps> and it's blown people's minds. Has it? Yes. Um, it's known as the crumb tray. Oh. That's crumb tray, Lee. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Right. Um, so at the bottom of your toaster, yeah. you pull out a little tray. Yeah. And there's crumbs in there. Yeah, I did not know, not know this. TikTok did not know this. Ugh. And it has gone absolutely crazy with people on TikTok going... Really? What? what when has this been a, a thing? Because some people were cleaning their toasters with hair dryers. What? <laughs> yes. How? What? It's like... <laughs> in the top of it? <laughs> Do what, sorry? <laughs> yeah, so they were literally holding this ha ha the hair dryer, the toaster on one side, and then blowing the hair dryer through it to try and get the crumbs out. What is the matter with people? Just go outside and tip it upside down. No, you don't even need to do that. You remove the tray from the bottom and you pop mm, that in the bin. That's really... Actually, uh, it's quite nice to eat that. It's kind of take it out and go, you don't need eat it crunchy. <laughs> <laughs> and how often do you do that, Lee? All the time. <laughs> that's OK, because I'm just thinking, because toast crumbs after, like, six months. Mmm, granola. <laughs> <laughs> that's not granola. <laughs> it's like granola. It's like granola. Yeah. Right. OK. Um, I think we should leave that there. Unless you're going to tell us any other places you find food. Oh, there's many places you can find food, but I'm not going to share them, because then everybody will know. Mm. Yeah. I bet at home, rather than, like, uh, randomly. You know, there's the, you know, when you're sat on your sofa mm -hmm. and you just put your hands down the side of the cushions, sometimes you can find a sandwich. <laughs> sometimes you can find... A corpse. Okay. It just depends. <laughs> oh, the phone thing. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hello. No, I don't. I don't think they're uneven. Yeah. Oh right. Okay. Thank you. Um, apparently, Jedward. Okay. The um, J is for John. John. Yeah. I'm not sure why it took the producer that long that to long. tell us that. Mm, but... I still like Jocasta. Well, thanks, Mike. Coming up, we have another one of our memories to share. And after the break, it's our life lesson. I've got a toothbrush holder wrapped in, <laughs> in bubble wrap. I need to shove a I need to get boob sweat. <laughs> hunch over, keep hunched over. That's what I'm doing. And if you have commented, shared, or clicked like on one of our showbiz media platforms, then your name could be sliding along the screen underneath my animal print. He said showbiz media platforms. Showbiz media platforms. What the f is going on? <laughs> you can only. I'm only good for one show per record. <laughs> <laughs> After that, it's just dust. Welcome back. And now we're going to see what mischief we can make in our life lesson. Life lessons. It's getting a bit cold, isn't it, Mike? It is. I didn't think you'd noticed. Oh, poke me in my eye. Um, so we have to still wear the masks. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, but it's also getting a bit cold. It is. And I thought, how can we combine both mask and head apparel? With a scarf? No. There's a, a much better way. It's a better way than There's a scarf. a better way of... To keep warm and yeah. cover your face. Yeah. So... Balaclava. <laughs> yes. <laughs> do you remember the balaclava? I do remember the balaclava. Mm. So... Pete, children of a certain age will remember the balaclava, which was a very heavily knitted, claustrophobic, <laughs> stained, stinking thing that you put on your face. Yeah, and you always end up with a rash around your mouth because the, mm. the wool and the moisture from your breath would cause a yeah, yeah lava face. That's what you used to call yeah. it. Yeah, um, but we're gonna do we're gonna do we're gonna do the the no what what are we in now? Are we in the noughties or are we in the twenty naughty? What is what is the official term for now? Twenty first century. Twenty first century. <laughs> is it not the twenty twenty twenties twenty? Oh, I don't know. Um, we're, we're technically in the twenties. Twenties. But everyone uses that for first the 1920s, so it gets confusing. I have um, a selection of pantage here. OK. Um, so we have blue and blue trim grey plain. Uh -huh. um, orange trim, 
Orange lightning bolts. Okay. Pink trim. Pink lightning bolts. I think I'll go for the pink ones, please. Oh, you, you knew I wanted those, and you just. Thank you. Um, so you've got a pair of pants. I have got a pair now of pants. Now normally you wear... I've had a pair of pants flung at me as well today. Did you? So previously we've made masks, face masks, mm -hmm. uh, socks. We have indeed, while we were in lockdown the first time. Very, yes, and they were hugely successful. They were. Um, so this time we're going to do uh, balaclavas out of pants. Okay. Balaclavas out of boxes. Okay. And I have my, I have my book of instructions here. Oh, glittery. Oh, oh. Right, okay. Um, so... I'm going to open it because I had to write the instructions. <laughs> um, so, first of all, take your take your paints, take, and pants. take your pants, and lie them flat on uh, on the table in front of you. Um, it doesn't matter where, which side. I just move my laptop. It's just move your laptop, top or bottom side. It doesn't matter. Does it matter if it's top or bottom? No, it doesn't matter okay. if it's top or bottom. All versatile here. No. So, um, then what you're going to do is you're going to take your pants, right? Okay, and the left, no, the the right. Leg hole. Uh huh. Okay. What you're going to do? I'm going to have to take my cap off. You're going to take that. Yeah. And put it over your head. On the, the right leg hole. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So the extra fabric. Uh huh. Is kind of at the side. Oh. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. So you're gonna um the. What are you doing? I'm, I'm oh, moving it, it to that's the right. side. No, that's right. That's right. Okay. So the waistband. Yeah. Is gonna go over your nose like that. Okay. Okay. And then, so the the sticky the bit that's left here, uh -huh. what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull it back behind you. Right. Yeah. And then you're gonna get hold of that extra material. Yeah. And you're gonna twist it round. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Uh huh. And then you should have like a little hoopy hoodie bit. Yeah. You're gonna <laughs> stretch that <laughs> over your head. Like that? Yeah. Wow. I must have. <laughs> That's because you've not got the leg hole over, you've got the band. Huh? <laughs> See, I've got the, the, the waistband. Oh, I want the so. pants, yes. I oh, want the pant leg. Not I the want the pant hand. leg, yeah. So, um,. <laughs> That, <laughs> my, yeah, my laugh is, I haven't practised it. Um, oh, so yeah, that makes it so much better. All right, okay, so there. And then what you do is, yeah. you just kind of adjust it to um, your, your requirements. Okay. And um, you have, oh, I'm quite liking that. Not only will it keep your heat warm, but also, it acts as a protector <laughs> for your face. Shall, shall we take it off and try it again, just so that people just get it at home? Do we have to? Yeah. Okay. Because we've got a lot of time left. <laughs> 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 okay, so, let's take it off. Oh, I'm stuck in my pants. <sighs> uh. Oh, there we go. So, you lie your pants flat. And um, you take the right leg hole. Right leg hole. Put that over your head. Okay. You look like you look like Mary from from Mary and Joseph fame. <laughs> <laughs> Mary from Mary and Joseph fame. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> then, you, so you take get the get the waistband. That is going to kind of go over your nose, like that. Uh -huh. And then the excess there, you kind of take to the back. Twist. And then the fabric bit goes over your head. Okay. Okay. What can make this look possibly more attractive than it already is? You see, I think that if anyone thinks about making a new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie, yeah. then we should, we should be it. Well, we could do. Yeah. Teenage Mutant Ninja Gays. Turtles, yeah, with pants on your face. Yeah, well, well obviously they could see it, and Superman never had his glasses on, so you've got to take your glasses off, okay? Now, I think these 
that I'm going to pass you will yeah. really add to, to the look of yours. Okay. Um, and I'm going to put mine on. The good thing about these is no one will recognise me. No, but... So no one will go, oh look, there's Mike with his pants on his face again. Yeah. But will, you will attract hordes of, of, of attractive people because they'll just take one look at it and go, oh my God, it's Elton John. <laughs> and David Furnish. Yeah. Right, okay. So there you go. That That is, that is the life lesson for this week. Um, Try it. Take pictures of yes. it. Yes. We obviously we, we can't guarantee that it's going to stop the the coronavirus in any no. shape or form. Um, it's there for display purposes only. Yeah. Is it the right time to tell you that I actually did wear those pants? I thought there was a, a unique musk. And last yeah. night I had a cauliflower curry. Oh, okay. I'm really sorry. That's all right. I just assumed that that was your natural aroma. That brings us to the end of this week's show just enough time to say you can find us on your social media platforms. Look for The Could TV, and our website is thecud.tv. And while you're there, look at the support section for extra content, including outtakes. I like the leftover turkey that is still hanging around at New Year's Eve with just enough time to bring you our photo of the week, which this week comes from a Miss Crystal Meff, who writes... My husband's chocolate colon leaves a nasty taste in the mouth. Oh, I can see that being a nasty taste in your mouth. Hole on me. Yeah. Ooh. Well, that was interesting for chocolate cold one. Yeah. Not keen. Not keen. Not a taste sensation. Douche that right out. Yeah, well, you'd have to, I suppose, wouldn't mm. you? Mm. Um, well, we haven't forgotten that we've still got lots of outtakes to share with you and some fun things that we've been doing. So why not watch that just before we go? So we're going to do these lyrics from the, yeah. the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Yeah. And you have them typed out. I have them typed out ready, although I, I can remember some brain. of them. Okay. So after three. So we're going to start with now this is a story. Okay. Okay. One, two, three. Now, now this, this is, is a story, story all about how. Oh, actually, my... do, we're doing it as something. Yeah, like, do it right, as okay, a proper thing. Say, oh, yeah. Okay. What's the point in just reading the lyrics out? Because when we did the Madonna thing, we just said the lyrics. Yeah, but. You know, it's just words. Okay, fine. It's words so in her hole in her face. Okay. okay. <laughs> One, two, three. Now, now this, this is a story all about how my life got flipped, flipped turned upside down. down. And I'd like, like to take a minute, minute just right, right, right there. here. I'd like to take... <laughs> 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 I'd like to tell you about how became the Prince of Town called Bel Air. In West, West Philadelphia, Philadelphia, born and raised, raised on the playground, playground is where I spent most of my days. days chilling out, maxing, relaxing, all cool, cool and all shooting up some b-ball outside, outside of the school. school. Where a couple, couple of guys, guys they were up to no good, started making, making trouble, trouble in my neighbourhood. I got, I got in one little fight and my mum got scared. She said, you really, really got to see that cut about that. It was like the actual show. <laughs> it was, yeah. Yeah. It goes on for about 14 more it verses. Does. Yeah, it so, but I'm not going to go. It's, like a, it's, <laughs> like it's a 30-minute show and it's like yeah. 28 minutes of running. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for watching and we will see you all again soon. Bye. Bye.